Hello, I'm Amy Shikino, Associate Director of University Writing at Auburn University. In today's mini video, we're going to talk about how to create specific learning goals related to research communication. When I say learning goal, I mean what you want students to know or to be able to do at the end of an assignment, such as the skills and knowledge you want them to acquire. These goals should directly connect to how you design your instruction and assignment, and they should align with how you assess the assignment. That alignment or fit is very important. If you already have clear learning objectives articulated through your course or accreditation, you can use those objectives to tailor an assignment to support these learning tasks, as the image on the left displays. Conversely, if you have an assignment that is required in your program, you can unpack the specific learning task to discover exactly what learning this assignment can support, as the image to the right displays. If you have neither preset learning objectives nor set assignments, a good space to start is by asking yourself, what do you want students to know or to be able to do at the end of the assignment? Feel free to pause this video here if you'd like to think about that for a moment. Too often, the learning goals that we see related to communication are vague, like this one. Students will learn to communicate effectively. But what does that mean? In all cases, effective communication is in part determined by your professional or disciplinary community and what they value, by the format you are communicating in, and by the skills that you will need to create strong examples of these forms. In unpacking your own learning goals, you should be as specific as possible. Also, Create goals that focus on learning the content in addition to the communication skills. Finally, in your learning goals, speak to the audience, purpose, and genre or format that students will be responding to. Remember, research communication tasks are cognitively very challenging as they ask students to acquire and balance different types of knowledges. Students need to know the subject matter on which they are writing, the genre or form they are writing in, the rhetorical context or their audience, purpose, and environment, and how to manage the process needed to move from an idea to a finished product. Consider how your learning goals can support students in acquiring knowledge in these areas. Now, let's practice improving some learning goals. We will start with our example. Students will learn to communicate effectively. First, let's look at an example that better addresses the audience. Now, let's look at an example that identifies discrete skills. Finally, let's look at an example that takes up the rhetorical context. All of these examples better explain what students are expected to learn and be able to do. As you start drafting your own learning goals, ask yourself, what do I want students to know or to be able to do? With what audiences will they need to be able to communicate? What forms or genres will they need to know? What styles of communication? will they need to know? And how will these outcomes serve my students' personal and professional goals? 